Hello Vray users, Alex you Vray Guide and today we're gonna check out the new Vray 6. It's a new version that came out still in beta, you can download it and check it out by yourself but today I'm gonna show you what are the new functions and features that were added to that version. Okay, so we can see here a bunch of cool new icons, uh, I guess they were updated. We have a new scattering panel, similar to Forest Pack, we're gonna check that out in a second. But the biggest update, in my opinion, was the dynamic sky and clouds that were added. So for this we need to add some lighting. Let's get a platform for first into this. I'm gonna make it 400 by 400, let's give it a... Uh, some metallic some reflective surface okay now let's get some objects into this so it will be a little bit more interesting i'm gonna open my cows cosmos and uh let's get some vehicles into this let's get this motorcycle all right and let's do some people let's get someone that is, um, this guy looks determined, <laughs> ready to go, okay, so let's put this guy next to the motorcycle, and now let's go and add some lights, so in V-Ray we have V-Ray Sun, and I'm gonna drag and drop V-Ray Sun with the sky, I'm gonna lift it up a little bit, this and here let's get a slightly better angle something like this and zoom out and start our APR okay so the APR has been calculated I think we need to add a camera for this to work better so I'm gonna stop my APR Actually, uh, let's go out of this and select Vray physical camera. Add physical camera right here. Click C. Now with this camera, we need to zoom in. Actually, let me get a little slightly uh, wider angle. I'm going to get 30. Something like this will work much nicer. Now let's start our APR. So we get everything in the exposure. Perfect. Now go back to our sun. And here, if you scroll down, you can see we have new addition of clouds. So let's click on the clouds, add some clouds, boom. This stuff is a new addition. So happy it was, you know, uh, working in Unreal Engine, I was hoping that cows will do something like this. It's completely dynamic with shadows. So uh, let me open this slightly bigger. And here we can see uh, density of the clouds. Look at this, becomes really dark. Okay, it's again, it's all uh, dynamic. So everywhere I rotate the Sun it updates simultaneously and you can see the clouds is actually blocking the Sun so here he gets some Sun because uh, the Sun actually shining through the clouds and if we go somewhere here you can see the Sun kind of disappears because it's going behind the cloud very very cool all right, so let's reduce the thickness of the clouds. Variety, so how many of them? And here the density is uh, how thick the clouds are. Now, Cyrus amount, I hope I pronounce it nice, uh, correct. We have here this nice thin clouds behind. Let me get that a little bigger. This is the, like the secondary clouds, the Cyrus amount. So let me reduce this in variety. And get like that and less thickness. Okay, so something like this with double 
double size, uh, double layers. So we also can animate them with the uh, offset here. So let's put thousand, uh, thousand. So it's in meters, and obviously you have to put big numbers in order to move those clouds. But you can see um, the way you animate it. Actually, you activate the animation button. You click here, uh, add key. Let's say add. Add key. The key was added. Now we're gonna move it here. Uh, let's put this to zero, and you see it was animated automatically. So we can have the animation of animated clouds, basically shifting uh, in x direction. We can also add uh, y direction, so they they can shift and move not only on one axis. Here we have a uh, fog height, so we can lift it up, or we can bring it down, very low clouds. Uh, thickness, so how thick are the clouds? Very thin. And uh, those are nice, thick and puffy. All right. So a lot of cool options. Oh man, I like those clouds. Very nice and puffy. Okay. Uh, phase X. What is this doing? I guess this is also for movement in percentage. All right. And Y. Okay. So now this is obviously amazing addition and uh, let's go check out what else we've got here so we've got scattering tool and in scattering tool for scattering we obviously need to scatter something so uh, for scattering let's get line because normally we have lines to scatter stuff so I'm going to make this kind of curvy line and while this line is selected, I'm going to go to my Cosmos, scroll down here to presets. And as you can see here, we have new presets added for grass, for trees, uh, hedges, those little shrubs. So let's get those trees. I'm going to click to export. And you can see it's already came with, uh, with the scattering tool. And... I got trees scattered on the line. So I can control if I go to the scattering tool and scroll down. Where are the spacing? I can control the spacing here. I can control which objects. So let's get one manual. Okay. I'm going to select this motorcycle and uh, let's add scattering tool. And let's go here. So objects distribute on target objects. So this is where we want it to distribute. I'm going to select my plane and instance model, which one I want to distribute. So let's select our motorcycle. Obviously it populated it a little bit too much. So count here, thousand. Uh, let's get about uh, 20. Let's see how this goes. All right, so we've got 20 scattered motorcycles. Let me click render here just to see how this whole thing looks. All right, pretty awesome. Okay, so let's see, we have uh, another preset here for grass. Download this one. 
you can see a bunch of grasses added and also the assembly of of the scatter tool so um, let's do this i'm gonna zoom out so we'll see what we're getting here and let's get that grass into the scene surface target okay so let's did we select surface target loan okay let's select our surface target i'm going to select my plane here and now let's export that boom we got our grass let's click render and see what we get here you go we got fully scattered grass uh, very very similar to what we get with uh, forest pack obviously forest pack is not replaceable because it's got way more options for scattering but again this is an easy tool for those that you know want to have a quick grass entered into their scene so as you saw you have to select the object click on the preset and that preset with the scattering uh, will be applied to that object okay so uh, let's see we've got we've got hedges also I'm gonna make another line right here and let's fix that line a little bit to make it because the hedges okay something like this all right now while this line is selected I'm gonna go to my preset let's get those edges here I'm gonna export them and voila we have them distributed here across the line uh, let's see how this whole thing looks I'm gonna click render by the way the render goes way way faster with V-Ray 6 you know I really can feel it how um, how fast it is with a bunch of grasses and little you know little objects it really gives you this preview in the most fastest uh, way all right so we have uh, we have those hedges at the background they kind of filling this whole thing up and creating this uh, nice surrounding atmosphere with a bunch of motorcycles all around us okay so we have way more tools in this one obviously this tutorial is too short to cover everything so join us to the next videos and thanks a lot for watching make sure to download v-ray and test it out this is alex your v-ray guy talk soon ciao